Daddy, and walk over a bus over ninety eight dot three. A patcher in a in crabbing the free straw or the MIA. Yamin Shrau Binash. Amen. I thank God for the breath of life. Amen. I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yet Danyamia see a war in Kwahome. Amen. Michia war yesterday. Amen. Today's report from heaven is that the most valuable treasure in life is Jesus. Amen. If you have Jesus, you have everything. So don't seek human vain glory, but seek the glory of God. If you choose your own path, you choose your own death. So be led by God and be led eternally. This is Pastor Kukudazi Ephraim reporting live from heaven. Amen. And a man boy free heaven is a silver ninety eight point three. A year good year, some Yesu. Se uwo Yesu a uwo adiengi na anunti enfiche eni pa eni monyamo a eye eni monyamo uno ne mum fiche nyame eni monyamo se uyi wankasa u kanya ube faswa uyi wankasa uwo anunti manyame ni ukai na wedi ukai afibo. Where your sofu kuku does it, if a money bar be the free heaven ever. I told you last week that the breath in you is very important and can leave you at any time, anywhere, without prior notice. When Japanese Prime Minister Shino Abe was campaigning about today's election on Friday, he didn't think that he wouldn't see today no. and will fall down on the street and die shortly. No. Wabra na Japanese Prime Minister Shino Abi e bontoa e fa ene abatoa obetoa hu efia de ya ino wanwini se on trase e hunu ne ne mo be chaje e wa bontin so be bia no ogina no na wawu bretia wabi someone was going to end his life and he didn't know Na obi be chanem kwaso and so na onim. It's like the gas in your car I said the other day. A tisa petroa udi go kar mwa me katra won. When the gas in your car runs short, the car will stop wherever it is. Sa petro go kar no mu esa. So you should think seriously about the gas in your car, which is the breath in your body. When your time is up, you will fall down wherever you are. I don't think petrol, a good car no more. Ah, I don't know how many a good petrol one. So bless you. Ube chashi form e wo bebia wo bia. And no medical doctor can foretell the exact time you will die for you to be prepared. Na doku te ni bie ni wa ansan e besi e no. Ube tu mi aka e brekura a wudi be wu achira wo. Na ma wudi e se se wo. It implies that only God knows when the breath will leave you. A chase, Yamin Kwan in Nimbra, Homino, a befru. 
So pray that you will not die in traffic at the market or in shame, but go in dignity. And unti bompa yese umu abra uti kemo eko mu anase e uje mu anase wo enimgo asie mu ne mum ube kowo enimgo jamu. If you talk about your plans without regard to God, you are like a driver who says he is driving from one destination to another without checking the amount of gas in his car, whether it is enough to reach his destination or not. O tu ni kano efri biya bako edi ako biya fufro Wabra on she petra e guni kano mono Se ebe son Ebe tumi dina kodru bebi ope so okono Anase entumi fani kodru The gas is the determining factor Petro no e gu ke mono Enne bechre se ube dru ho Se un timi ndru ho Whether you will reach your destination or not Depends on it. Se ube dru ho, se un timin ko dru ho, e jina petro nisou. In the same way, whether you will live to see your plans materialize or not, depends on the breath in you. Wasa kwa eno a asono, se ube transi ama o tri mu pona be mu wa brabo e mua, e jina umia, e wo umono asu. Like the gas in the car, if your breath is gone, your life will stop as the car, wherever you are. Et tu sais, Petra Gouka, mon nom. C'est où mais nous frions mon car. Ou après, bon, nous ne voulons pas nous bébé vieux. Et tu sais, car non. Ou bébé à ou bébé à. Interestingly, People regard artificial air in an oxygen concentrator than the fresh air God has provided freely. Eh, one must say, Nipper boom from Manoa, Yachia Gua Fidiemono, a chain and from a name Viemoa, Yankupon, a dear Mayan Quano. In a critical time, some family members will be willing to pay for the cost of an oxygen concentrator to support the life of their dying rich father. But before that happens, when you tell them to give their life to Jesus and he will protect them free of charge, they will deny you. Yeah. Ube tuye sike biara efa mframano wa egu efidiye mono Se eme buwa Ema wamo pape sike ni biya owo e nyanko Nensu so alisande besi eno Sa uka chile wansi wanfa wahuma eradi Yesu Kristo Na obopo wahubayi wabra wanji wansi ke biara Umfi ukra It's all because People don't regard precious things When they are given freely. Nina ni se eni pe mu adia eti mu pa ne suwam faso se yedi chekwa. God has given the most important ingredients of life free of charge, as I said last week. Nyango pa di adia ehu ni apa ne bua ma bra bono eti mi koso no. The air we breathe is free. Rainfall and sunshine are also free. And from my home, no, or the check up. In sure, I talk. And you, you also are a bonus, or the check up. The Lord Jesus also commanded his true servants. To preach the gospel free of charge. I know Radiya Sukristo Susu 
ashe ni nkuwa kanye se yenka nkuwa jie nyame sabino kwa wabra enjewe so the message that can change your destiny is given freely na chese asemwa ebe tumi asi sao shebre nsono ya di chekwa healing which causes many people to converge at hospitals due to various types of diseases is also given freely by God ayarisa ebe ni pako ayarisa bia bebre no esa ayari ahudu ahudu opi nsono nyankopon diseases and death can take you to hell but when healing and the gospel that bring relief and eternal life are preached for free people don't see their value they are taken for granted yariye eni owu ebetumi di wako bon samje nansusu se ayare sa eni nyame asemo a ebetumi di ahojo eni dan kwa aba no ye ka no kwa wa bra ye ngehwe ya eni pa mu no ademo bia o fa no tra but i want you to take free things god provides and god's simple servants seriously as the most precious na so so me pese o fa enema nyame di chekwa eni nyame nko anso a wo fom pa no e wo eni bere so se enu na da wo nya pa if the breath which is the most important can leave you anytime anywhere for you to die unexpectedly you should think seriously about it death and hell because they are all related se homia e ho hia pa no e betumi afiri mu abri biara e wo ba biara wa bra wani nade a e wo so odwene e ho yie pa ani owu ani obonsam je insan se ni nyina etu atu aso if you will die anyway then think about why and how it can happen because it can happen in disgrace and where you go after death is another issue say adan a obewudi a ene na ba bia wu a obekọ no ene kon ya be fa so aba no ene wo se odwene ho pa e san se e betumi aba wo enim go ase mu na ba bia owu na chi so obekọ so e ya se fofro God is good and doesn't want you to lose sight of this and live carelessly and die and go to hell. Nyame ye and won pese wa di be free we no so. Na wa transfer abo abra bo biara biara na wa wu akọ upon subject. He wants to save your life. O pese o ji won kwa. That is why Jesus is called Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. And no tina of Fray Jesus said, I think he came to save people from the hellfire. O Baba Jini Pankwa, a free Obosam Janu. If you give your life to Jesus, you will not burn forever, but live with eternal life. Saudi huma Yesua uinshi afibo nemom ubetransi afibo That was why the Lord told the story about the rich man and Lazarus in Luke chapter 16 verse 19 to 31 I don't think the radical semwa efa osikani no ene Lazarus ho e wo Luke and Sempa ti dunsia before i continue i want to remind you that that story is not fiction 
It was a true life story that the Lord Jesus wants the living to take a cue from. Answer and met to us. Me person me kai o se sa seven o ne nyana se se. E ya brabo mo sempa e si e a iradi pese ati asifo e si en nyana sembi e flip. It is meant to forewarn you so that you will not live your life anyhow and take careless decisions to end in hell like the rich man. A ready person of us are going to so edit bow coco. Said the bear won't trust him more. Abra bonu biara biara. Now we see see a giant basa basa. Now we go we we. I will burn some gem. Said sa osikanino. Here again, you can see what money without God does. Wo hansu subio. Ube tumi ya hundi ya sika ya menka ono aye. Money caused the rich man to neglect the truth about life. Sikama sa usikeneno opo no korea efa abrabo. This is the third time the Lord Jesus Himself is warning people about what riches without God does. When in impress as well, a radi Jesus Christo and Casa. Oboni pa koko fa sika nyamen kawono de etumiye. The first example was a rich man who had bragged to be religious that he had obeyed God's commandments from his youth. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 16 to 24. But when the Lord told him to go and sell all that he had and give it to the poor. And come and follow him. The young man, who was extremely rich, couldn't obey the Lord. In fact, who had the kind of neyo sikeni biya, obeja ne num ehwa hwa ne oka se, we di nyanku pombran semsu efri ne mofra babrim. Ewo matiwa semba ti dunkrom ti chemu dunsia edikosi edionu naino. Nansu so abre radi Yesu Kristo ka che ne se onko no onko to ne wo nyina amfa ma hiafo na ombra medina chi no sa brante no a no obu sika pa no when to me entie the radical money hindered him saying he had been religious from his youth was not true sika si ne kwai or can say, Why ain't you assuming a friend and God a brave no? Nay, you know, he didn't want to be perfect before God. Money was important to him. No, I'm pesa obey pepe pepe. I will yam yam. Sika, nane yano pa. When money stood between him and heaven, he chose money. Wabra sika. A bitch now on heaven and terminal. O ye sika. That was when the Lord said, It is hard for a rich man, I mean the one who doesn't want to obey God, to enter the kingdom of heaven. And none of my radical say, A deep say, O sikani. She said, Yeah. On pese obetie nyame no obehye ne nyankopon ahinedu The second rich man is the one God called foolish in Luke chapter 12 I've been talking about for two weeks Osikani otosumie no ene nyame frere no kwasea e wo Luke and Sempa ti dumie no a maka ho asem na otwumie no ene no this is the third case involving another rich man. Asemwa toso miensa efa usikeni fo fransoso ehoni. As I told you before, these were not men God made rich, but worldly rich men who allowed money to control them, to
to be disobedient to God. Said your makache o tadano. We nye mema nyanku pon ema o nye sikau. We ye viasi sikafwa. We ma sika edi wankain ne dada wong ne ma o ye aswadi ti anyame. The rich man in Luke chapter 16 I'm talking about today lived lavishly without regard to God and the breath in him. But Lazarus rather lived with regard to God. Osikeni o Luke and Sempa ti dunsia o trasi di de e osikemu pa man ho jo no wa bra wo mo nyankopon ene ho bia e wo ni mo no. Nanso so Lazarus dia o trasi e de obu ene ni die manyame. Because of money, the rich man lived for the world and forgot about God, and that took him to hell. And because of humility, Lazarus lived for God and forgot about the world, and that took him to paradise and heaven. Pastor Kukudazi said that. Messi esa sikenti o sikani no tnase e mariase. And an irrefi young coupon. Nano, I didn't call upon some gym. Now, a son, a brassenti. Lazarus, a transi man yame. And an irrefi yasi. And a non susu, I didn't call paradisi. Any heaven. Or suffoku does in a car way. It is not poverty that took Lazarus to heaven, but his understanding of life and his. Reverence to God. And yet here and there, here Lazarus, you know, and they didn't call heaven. Nebo, a entiasia, no wafa abrabo, any a media or the manyame. Because there are many poor people who don't understand that serving God, the giver of money, is better than chasing money without God. A son said, A year four P. Wahwa, one Tiasia said, Was soon yammy, a or Mexican. A year chen said, What to do, Mikai Dissicatia, Yammy and come. That rich man went to hell because he chased money without God. Sao Sikanin called one Samjim. The son said, O to two Merica di Sikaiti, Wabrenyame and come. Unbelief took the rich man to hell, and faith took Lazarus to heaven. Angenye at the Sikanino call of Bonsemjin, Najidie at the Lazarus echo heaven. Considering God who gave the breath in you. And what happens after death is the difference between the wise and foolish, as I said the other day. So we do in Yamia or Mao Kwan or Wo Mono any dear Bessie Wo or Wo Echino and no name so soon like that in Yanseni any Okasiemu to send the Dano Mikachel. That is why the Lord told that story. And don't it. Any radic cancer as After death, the rich man saw the importance of the message about hell and the reality of hell. Uwechino, Usikanini, who said, Hell as seven, a yapa, and was answered to whom said, Say, upon some given, a hopa. He saw that torment in hell. Is real. Oh, who say a man who no power? What about some gemono? A yenukre, a hoba. That even the tip of a finger dipped in water could have cooled his burning tongue. So, upon such a kitu idea, upon so much kite kite no kran. A bit to me, I do do ne teche ma na eshi shino pano. The rich man 
who had abundance of water in his house in his lifetime begged for a little bit of it. Hey, Osikeni no, no will show be when he fear what brand or tiasiel. I feel the no or pachel say or pay in show no kiti 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 be. He wanted to make changes and pleaded for God's mercy, but it was too late. Now, a person who is not a person who is not a person who is a person who is a No u turn no remedies. Couldn't come back to life and live differently. Unto me and none in a home. Now, unto me and Yancy Sabia. Now, unto Mrs. Sun Sam Man Comobio. Or a betransy or comfort for us. So, hell that the Lord spoke about is real. Nature's all born some Janua. A radical one seven. A wahopa. Therefore, if you say you don't believe what the Lord Jesus said about hell, demons have messed up your mind. I don't think so. Okay, say, as someone ready Jesus Christ to cover up on some jahono, who knew me? I won't bonia say what you need. If you challenge the reality of the hellfire, that even demons acknowledge its existence. You are worse than demons. So would you tell me? At the far of one semi general, import our money. You two must say a word. What say? Cry a chain. Our money cry. God has revealed the hellfire to many people in dreams and visions. Nyamia yi sa a general enu mudano. At the actual ni papi. It is not a place you should even think about. One of my spiritual children who passed out some years ago before he became a Christian saw hell. Nani so brave no money trash here. No one who no he bio and son of a Christian in Fabia Chamu be brainino. Oh no, upon some jar. He heard the torment, weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth the Lord spoke about. What he at it tino? A Joe Chano. A son of any centuria, a radius of Christo can once again. When he wanted to go inside, an angel told him this You can't bear what you hear. So hell is unbearable. A brand new person of Bora Mono, or Buffo be Kawetan. Ose won to me nyina na e wote no ano na chese obonsam ja no enye bebe ya obetumi agina de e koso no e wo hona no da do you want to be like the rich man to believe the existence of hell after your death when it will be too late o pese o yet se sa sikane no na o beji I decide upon some January, I will wait. I will bring some rain so so. Now I can't see anything. If you want to see hell before you believe, as some people foolishly say, you will see your stupidity after death. So person who upon some January, as an white jedi, said he been on Kawan Kwasiya some months. Once you get there, you can't change anything. 
there will be no mercy you can't come back as I said early on it will be too late so who go here who do me see sorry mo bro who be a any one more view who do me and some more cheap na said the American that I know a big car a cheap but as you live now you can change your destination if you decide to live for Jesus right now but so what you ask is this here you be to me as a son baby you be quite cool you say you see it now you say you be to me as a son baby you be quite cool you demons want everyone to go into the hellfire with them that is why they don't want people to believe the message about hell as if Jesus is a liar a hon boni pese u biya ka wan hon ma o moko janwa enu mdano mo enu ntid wan pese ni pa beji a se mo e fa o bon se mo janwa hon edi enu na mena e ti se e radi yesu kristo o yon trofo if you disbelieve the message about hell demons made you so se u si u inji ase mo e fa o bon se mi jana hon e niya e ya hon hon boni na ye u sa they have fooled you o my jimmy God is good and doesn't want you to burn forever. That is why he warns you about hell so that you can be wise to avoid going there. Nyame ye en won pese u be shi afibo. Enu nti na obo okoko afa obunsam jalo. Se de be ya u be ye nyaseni na wan ko. Sadly, demonic pastors don't talk about hell to warn people. They are also chasing money like the rich man who went to hell. Eya re who say asofo a awon money ka won so no won mususu won mun kasam fa obo sam jam e money pa koko won mususu di sikaji e ti se o sikani ya owu ko obo sam jabi Life is either you die to enter God's kingdom or die to enter the money kingdom of hell. Abrabo enen ko awe. Se wa mu anko nyankopon ahindie mu. Ubewu akọ ahun boni ahini aye janua enum danu emu. That is the truth. We and in the quarry instead of pastors preaching for people to understand this truth about hell and serve God in fear most of them have joined the worldly rich people and are also displaying their wealth and cause our software can you miss him actually nipa and what is how no quarry a far upon some game in the book no what is so assuming a menu won hu dudu ono ayi won hu ti se ewiase asikafo ono na won mo soso e dan ni omo e wo ni omo japade adi these days some pastors are competing about who is the richest oh na say asofo e si akan e fa de owo sikapa e wo you hear some people saying the richest pastor in the world yeah. oh my god what is a bit more cancer or software on the whole sick up our vias such pastors are more stupid than the worldly rich men because god didn't call anyone to boast and show off their wealth yeah so for no oh my jimmy crash and we are yes it's something i'm coupon i'm through piece Ome huwa huwa na hon Na on day Me japa die di God called me To tell people about the reality of life 
and the truth about hell for them to serve him the giver of breath who gave them chance to live in fear nyaku pon fre me say me meka no kwari a efa abrabo ho ene obonsam ja no se de be obesum ono a o ma enkwa no na wasa so so ma won kwan se won chance no e wo suru but these self proclaimed preachers from poverty background are only interested in money forgetting what the money did to these rich men in their own bibles then susu ta wa wa nkasa ye won ho and sempa kafo a wo fri hemen de hia wo eni sika na wo re fi de sika e ye sa sika fo ya me ka wo ho asem a e wo wo mo nkasa bible no ekute kuta wo mo no emu when money took over the mind of solomon i told you that he forgot about god who made him rich wa bless ka fa solomon drink na no me ka kire o se ni re fi nya me a o ma ni nya sika no so think about what you do with the breath in you and what will happen when it leaves your body ani ntijini homi no a ewo mu no eho ani de be si akire se e free oni padua no e mu i want to remind you that the breath in you is not yours it is god's me kai o se homi no a ewo mu no eni wo na yinyame dia therefore life is a borrowed one we are on a borrowed life enunti enko eye mokwa ye bo abrabo mokwa god has given breath for us to live with it for some time and when you don't expect you can come for it nyame de homi na ma ese ye mfa ntrase wo mrebi na bra wani ndano obetumi asa beje na de life is like a bride who borrows a bridal dress for her wedding she will have to be very responsible and return it in the same condition after the wedding if it has significant damage she will have to pay the total estimated market value of it abraboti say i fro ba wako sai futadie so de be ye na i fro i was all say atadie ni ye pa na osadi ko se de na esite no se osai no pa wa bra obi a be hunu a obi ti abo said ye si ton no no pepe pepe e di amanatia the same thing applies to the breath in you and the life you have sa en en kon no wo mu no en abrabo a wo mu no so so e di the breath of life is a borrowed one it is a temporary loan from god a hu mia e di kon ma wo no I just a busia ana mokwa breti awabi efi nyame ho You will give account to God about the breath he gave you And if you misused it for your selfish interest you will be punished for that Ubebu akunta akire nyame afa homi no odi ma wo no ehun Na se wo ye ni basa basa edi pe de wo ankasa wako no esitia wo be twi waso you will pay for misusing the breath god gave you and that eternal punishment is the hell fire i am warning you to avoid
ubetia kasa uye humia ni amedi ba wono basa basa na sa asuchi ya fibono ai wo obonsam jeremu no eno ena me ba okoko se de be ya unko we i am going to tell you something deep about this scripture the parable of the talents in matthew chapter 25 verse 14 to 30 so know that it is pastor kukudazi who gave this explanation me be can be be i mu ye dru afa sa se me hu asem no e fa talent ho no e wo matthew asempa ti e dru no chiche mu dunan e di kosi e dua na hu se e yo so fu kukudazi e na di san church mu e ba e the lord wants you to make profit about the breath he gave you and he doesn't want you to do stupid things with it e rade pese hu mi a odi ba wo no unya so mfa so no pese wo di beye ejimise that is what the parable of the talent is about sa ne fa sa asem no e fa talent no e ho no it's not about using the breath god gave you to find money as misconstrued by some economists and money conscious people em fase wo de homi anya me de ma wo no e pe sika se de sika ku ntabufo ene wo no sika ji wo ajere no wo ntia se na wakia ncheche mo no the talent is the breath the lord gave you and making profit out of it is how you use it to let your soul gain access into god's kingdom talent no eni homia ewrade e de mawo no ena unya so mfaso nso so eni kwan a obefaso a wo de saa home no ebe nya kwan e de ewura nyankopon anenie no emu that is why in verse 30 of Matthew 25 God will cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness which is hell where there will be weeping and the gnashing of teeth enunti na ntichemu aduasa i wo matthew asempa ti adionu num no nyakopon de saa kwa no a ne so nim fas wo bia no wo betu na twe esum kabisi e wo e ban na chi a aye obonsam jeru be bi esum en sincere e wo no the parable is about how to make a gain or benefit from the breath god gave you saa seven e fase wo di homi anyame e di ma wo no enya mfaso ana se unya bibi e di afri mu time is fast spent god willing next week i will come back and continue my message but my message today is simple that god does not want you to go to hell he wants you to use the breath in you to gain access into his kingdom so be wise to avoid the hell fire in jesus name amen amen today too i want you to give your life to jesus and then so the person of the human radi jesus christ this message is serious so say this prayer with me Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for speaking to me today. And I was so I was chairman there. I accept that I am a sin. But from this day forward, then so if you never go, I believe in my heart. And confess with my mouth that. Jesus. 
Forgive me of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. May thou say, in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Father, thank you for being so good to speak to us, for us to be wise in order to avoid the hellfire. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And the message is very, 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 very serious. On your door for our tea, ye be a now pay and church a pa, a be more bought a brabble crum crum, who may ya or whom may name ya made a man whom for so no acquaintance to Christian chain. Ah, bra cassie go a filling station. Ah, a work cassie who be who say filling station in chemo, a quaint kitua and the whole sunny and see for my uncle baby a beam. Udru from which I am, who say a signboard, a bow, nifaso, action, power of faith ministries. Cosia de bia, a no crum, an opa, and a uquada, a numrino numnifa, a ye Bible adisia. If ye ada, a numrino numnifa, a ye empire bow. So when ye a cradle, so when ye a besuing yamia, memma, ne ho ye a mumpa yam kuan ho, ye see yamia sem. Ye treachery and so am ye a Christopher Mapa. And they have a pass of my work can ye very serious. Nami nimu da talent na a wa Bible man, nay a papa chichi mupa me at a sentina. There's thirteen or can't say. Dear when you're so fast on or better not so, a soon can be moo a war a ye cherry a saint a warno. Ne honor na mean tia see ye papa. Then nebi ye mi ebu no se talent no e ye home na nyame de ma ye ya e we ye mu no e no na wo se ye de bo bra papa e nya ho mfaso na ya da chi ankwa ma ya ko yesu christo nche na ye papa mi ye hu se eti se obi a wo ebu fu wo le gbo ka mu na mi fa de se gege no kura sai na wo kwa na wo so 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 se me kwa kwa tenten wo mi sa ho se edi mi be kwa ko dru ana e fa bi ko dru be bia edu be dru na fu wo de be sa ho ani bi ja wo si na empo ebi kura na wo timi asi ana nte na we die ebi kura na amu na bi wo ho na wo koto na no anu no eti se nsu to ya ankro fo ka kire obi se amu na kesi ebi wo ho abrante e me ntwa mo asu o me kro so wo to si nsu no ma no to obu no wu ye Na sa kwantu we e ye kwantu a won kwa won san sa wechi. En ti so bi tina se kasen. Mi nyi ni se hel wo hwa na heavy wo hwa. A hon mani ya ha yene sa en a wechi min so. Na mi bi sa wose na wun kwa na se wo hwa e. Wun ti min sa wechi. Se ye papa chere chere. Wun ti min sa wechi. En wun ti fa se mi serious. Se yesu kruso wo ni atro. And unto a car, some would be a walker where the quaffle and walk out saying, What this story, ya and ya, answer some, a yasabi see it was canine Lazarus as a be, and unto Father Sam here, no men more who now won't popo, now Janet Joe Crown Qua. Yamisha Nassam so, Amen. Amen, Dada, a radin shower no pay, said dear Mamma, can on them some no. Papa, 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 Enu so yintu ya he Na oka bibifa Nyanko po wa sema Edi mkwa jie banso Enu so odi ache kwa Na so enipa yemu 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 Na asema dada kaa wawa Mimi jina so akasa Anase minso makaka kwa diye tuwe tiye fufu Eni se E ya mpapa se dada kase eh, Se ubi yu Na se e base uso yemano Oksijina 
Ebusiafo be prayer won fa be bia ye bi ye sika bia na ye ye tumi akoto oxygen no e di amani pada ma watranse no ye bepe na nso nkwaje a e ye kwa home e ye kwa ensuo e ye kwa inframa e wiya e ye kwa no ye mu na nso awurade de sa nyema we gina a cheye etiefo me e chese ne se de mama chese asem ai pii ne no e hu pa se me e bi se yare ana se bi hu aba e ba na se me 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 ti sika kese e de akopɛ oxygen oxygen na emframa awurade de atena me mu na home awurade de atena me mu no me nwene ho de a na me jini fo te se osikani a asika fo me nsa da da bobo wo mso nyina wo hu se ntia ne se wo mo dwini sika ho chen wo mo nkwanti wo mo beye ejini fo onu adofo e du be bia eh eniema bi wo ha me de masem ni eniema bi wo ha nyankopon ye odo na odwene ne ma ho nti odi acheye kwa nti ye hwe saa niema no na ye mo ho ban yiye ye hwe kwa ya ye befa ye benya sa mfasode e papa e wo saa niema we mu dada class e bi se mfasode a urade de adua ye mu fa ye ho me no ho ne se ye be di ye ho me no be ya ade a e di ye be ba me ho nti se 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 e me de e no bo adwaman me de bokro no me de ye de mepe che se de be si ba adwene mu bia na me ye adie ba kwa dada ka ye kura e ya yo ho sem ne se asofo anka wo so mo bua ye kura na mo de ye ko no wo mo so sika yi a wo mo dwi sika ho chen wo mo nkwa nti wo mo e kasa fa se be ya ibe yi na ye jai ye ye nkwa je no ato ho unyadofu ewade e ma wani mu a wo ho so ewade ma wo nyansani ense se ye ye jimi fo te se sika fo ya dada abobo wo mo so e wo bible mu na ye ye ndwini ye kra nkwa je ho asem ne ye e san se ende dada ma ye hu se wa ndi ewade wa mfa hume na nye de ewade pese wo de ya ba bi a wo be ko no wo ntumi nsan wa chimba na wo ntumi nsesa hwe nso wo ho ewade nhira wo dada amen amen dada wo nshira pa ene
Shall <laughs> account it that I'm uh so e be any effa and qua rather they are chain free nan so ye who hawa ye su fa you su but it's a woke hospital na ye cast a twa oto uh went yes ye say I didn't the whole qua you soon ye nem wow ni panasem me pedia meto na a ton musu cra some down a last m we call a SD hospital Na papa na are ho okay obi ana o yare na ye dem from medicine so it ye dem from no asine so to extend bia e we say ye yi okay ye yi e dey panel sorry within 5 seconds within 5 seconds for man say free ni pen mo we say bush ye ni say na cause we dey from afoforo e say ye so na me jana me say ah e na me wo nkwa na am fry che say me wo en from ma say dem bitimi ye ye ni bia and I'm between the media grosser. Mm. And another, I can in the letter say, Nippa was say, Yeah, she yep, and they say, Then you may be dear, grow crop, 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 crop. Daddy, I'm running a couple, we shall pa. Maybe I shall assemble and I'll catch a chat to an Indian. Daddy, a dear ba a ye. Master, one may catch a twenty. I was so young and sunny, a wing and me and his what? What brow the home in our demaun, a transit amount. What I'm saying is, you have to be wise in God's eyes by using the breath He gave you to live for Him. Yes. If you want to live for the Lord Jesus, then run to where you heard the warning about hell. Yes. Because we will teach you to live for God in fear. Amen. The message is serious. And if you decide to do that, I always say, God has all the power to deliver you from demonic hands. That is why I always say that with God, all things are possible. God bless you. Amen. Amen.